Okay, so I got my outdoor shower completed. Figured I'd kind of show you how I did the plumbing on it. So my outdoor shower currently sits in this hard case that I got bolted to the wall. So let me open this up here. So as we open it up, I got the Camp Lux uh, propane uh, water heater bolted to the door here. So obviously we got our propane line. I don't have any water in the trailer right now, so I'm not gonna be able to run it, but it does work. I did test it. So what I have here for the plumbing is I got this flexible uh, water hose. Got my inlet here and then outlet here. And what I have on here are these uh, quick release fittings. So the way this will work is on the camper here, I took an RV uh, outdoor shower box that kind of has like the faucet in there. I got rid of the faucets and I installed one-way valves here. So the way this will work is this line here is my out, out water out, so hot water. So for my sink on the inside, if I want hot water, I can plug it in here. And then the water in line here will plug in here. So the way I have it set up, if I wanted on the inside of the galley here, forgive the mess, it's a little dusty still in here, but for my sink, I can have hot water if needed. Uh, this switch here will turn on the water pump. There is no water in the tank right now, so I'm not gonna run that. I do have a 21 gallon water tank underneath here. The ball valve is my drain. The big line is my inlet. The smaller line with the filter is the outlet that goes through the pump. And then behind this door here, this is kind of like the plumbing door. So what we got going on in here, as you can see the water fill line right here, but then down here, the water line comes up through the floor into the pump, comes out here, comes up, and here I got a T for the cold. This would be just for, I guess, temperature water, like room temperature if you call it, or outside temp. This would go to the cold water line on the sink, and that goes up into the back of that box to that one-way valve. And then coming back in, the hot water will come down here and it connects to the hot water line of the sink. So that covers the sink portion. So now for the shower, what I have here, I'm not going to set it up right now, but that's a Overland Vehicle System shower awning. I think it's like, if I'm not mistaken, four foot by four foot, just side curtains for privacy. But if I want to take a shower now, I can disconnect the hot line here. And then I have a quick fitting here on this hose nozzle where I can just snap that on. And now I have a shower. And then obviously it's got the different settings. And then you can flip this lever down to lock it. But that's the way I have this set up. Pretty basic in a sense. I didn't want to, I've seen some videos where some people will mount the shower or the 
water heater on the inside but because this exhaust heat uh, vents out the top I didn't want that blowing up against the, the plastic box um, I know I've seen videos where people make like a kind of like a duct to blow the heat out but I figured it was just as simple to hook this up so when I first tested this, this thing actually does have quite a bit of pressure uh, with, with my pump. So I can actually, if I wanted to, like my forerunner there, I could probably spray the front of it with the water hose just off of that shower head. And then the temperature on this thing, it gets scolding hot. So I'll have to learn you know, learn the settings for the temp just to make sure it's not too hot. My thought was is once I figure out what I want, I'll probably mark it to where it's a comfortable temperature for a shower. But yeah, I kind of I like how this turned out because this will pack up nice and neat with all the lines kind of hidden away. And then this box just snaps closed. And then this door is, the only reason I have this door is just to access all the plumbing. I'm not gonna do anything on the inside here as finishing it, because it is just like a plumbing cabinet in a sense, so not too worried about it. But thanks for watching. I'll leave some links in the description below for where I got, the, especially these. These were kind of hard for me to find. I saw someone do something similar in a Sprinter van and it took me a while to find these connections. So they're not cheap. I can't remember, they might be like 15 bucks, 10, 15 bucks a piece, but <clears throat> They make life a lot easier. Makes everything clean up, pack away pretty easy. So, and then for the propane, I haven't decided if I'm gonna run an extension from the front of the trailer and maybe have some way to tie in the propane line back here. But for now, I'll just remove one of the tanks and I can just set it on the ground back here until I decide how I want to do that. But yeah, if you got any questions, comments, leave them below. Appreciate you watching.